Greetings for two old farts. Hello. We're gonna play a game today, right? Yeah. We're gonna we're gonna see if people can guess when we're bullshitting and when we're not. We're gonna tell three stories. One of them's the truth, and the other two are bullshit. See if you can figure out which one's which. It's kind of hard to tell too, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Our it story. is. It is. <laughs> the first story comes from Florida. Trish and I are driving down to Florida, and we run by the sign that we just we couldn't go past it. Uh, Smitty's Gator Farm and Baptist Church. <laughs> There's clouds in the choir. The 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 women are are, are all dressed in identical. What, what are they wearing? The women in the choir are wearing matching halter tops. And they were <laughs> kind of jiggling around. And one old lady, she had a lot of cleavage, and in the cleavage was little tufts of white hair. And the pews had drink holders. Do you remember the prayer books? No. I do. They looked like they looked like Dr. Seuss books. They, the illustrations <laughs> were done by some kind of amateur. I don't know. Great <laughs> choir book. Just to see the choir books was was it was fun to go there. <laughs> the sermon is about guns. And of course, during the offertory, it's okay to put bullets in the in the uh, in the little offering thing and, instead of money if that's all you got what, what a, a great, great place. place they open the pool and bring out the gator during communion the gator's name was dan he was huge yeah <laughs> communion you can get you can get a little white wafer or you can get a piece of chicken to to throw it down there and every time dan gets him a bite what does everybody do trish praise jesus Everybody starts to screaming and the choir's halter start to jiggling and you start to wonder why it hasn't made it on Netflix yet. And they finish it all with a few courses of eat it. Yeah, it, no, honey, no, not, not eat it. It's beat it. Michael Jackson's beat it. I think that's, the, it's beat it. Okay, here's story number two. The pumpkin pie story? Yes. Now, this is this happened to my dad. And as far as we know, it's true. Dad's driving down the road, and uh, this is one of those uh, one of those uh, traveling salesman trip uh, trips where he, you know, he's a traveling salesman, and he he notices as he goes down this back road, he cannot find a gas station, and he's really getting to where he's got to poop pretty bad. <laughs> so, and he does. He's and and so what he does is he goes down the road, he pulls off, he gets desperate, and what does he do? He poops. In the pumpkin patch. He he cuts a hole in in a pumpkin, poops in the pumpkin, puts the top back down, the heads off back down the road. Well, a few years later, they they had built a nice little place, a little a little gas station and a and a, a little grocery store, and you could go in there and eat. So he goes in there and eats and, and uh, what's he find in there? A pumpkin. No, no. <laughs> he goes in there to eat and he finds a couple of old guys. And uh, they're real nice to him, and he sits there and talks. And he finally he kind of thinks that you know I think I'm gonna tell these guys what happened. So, so he tells the old boys, you know, when I was here the last time, uh, I had to go really bad, and I went over here to the pumpkin patch and I pooped in a pumpkin. And he and the old boys kind of stopped laughing, and one of them gets up, you know, kind of kind of looking, you know, and he goes over to the phone and he picks up, and they got one of these cranky phones, and he cranks the phone. And he gets on the phone, he says, Hello, Vi. Well, this is Sai. That was shit in that pumpkin pie. True mm -hmm. story. Okay, now... Uh, scary. <laughs> story number three. All right, let's see. What was the story number three? I forgot what it was now. Oh, yeah, story number three. Story number three, paraglider. Remember the paraglider story? Yes. Trish and I uh, were going on adventures paragliding, and we went to, to Knoxville, and I hadn't been up but, what, one time, maybe twice? Mm -hmm. So we go to Knoxville to get some more training, and uh, it was kind of windy, wasn't it? Mm -hmm. And I was, like, flopping back and forth. It was pretty scary. Uh, and so I had I had a couple of really bad attempts and almost, almost uh, didn't make it, but I got up into the air, and I'm flying around, and I looked down, and I realized that my seatbelt wasn't buckled. Well, 
you know, you're in a paraglider and there's not much keeping you in that seat other than the seat belt. So it scared the fire out of me, out of me. And I had never let go of the, of the toggles before. So I didn't know you could let go of the toggles. I thought they would dance out of my hands and get up to where I couldn't reach them. And then I'd have no way to land. So I, I was kind of, I was really getting scared. So I came back around to land because I, I, I knew I needed to land and I'm twisting over, coming back over to land. And I looked down on the ground below me and I, and I looked below me and written on the ground, you know how the uh, farmers cut into the fields and make their own patterns? <laughs> Just as I was turning it, it, I looked down and it said, Jesus saves people's lives. Well, <laughs> well, I didn't take it that way. I was taking it more like, well, this is when you die, Rod, and Jesus is going to save you. Well, I didn't want no part of Jesus saving me because I didn't want to die. So, <laughs> so I didn't take it the way it was intended. But I came back around. I danced around. I almost crashed and I landed. And uh, Well, I had a lot of prayers going up for you every time you did that. Yeah, it was scary. I, I'm glad... I'm glad I did it because it was some of the most fantastic flying you could ever think of, but it was damn dangerous. Very dangerous. So those are the three stories. You guys send us notes or whatever or send us comments and let us know what, which one of those stories is a true story. Right, Trish? Yeah. And so that's all for 2 old farts. Bye. Thanks for joining us.